we are going to look at how to use Accordance, the very basic level, starting it up and getting some initial windows and then some basics of how to set up preferences. So I have Accordance up here. I double clicked on the Accordance icon. And when you do that, you may get some initial startup stuff the very first time, but that will go away basically when you have gotten into it for the first time. So I'm assuming that now we have Accordance up and there are no windows up. None of your libraries are currently being displayed. I'm going to show you how to set your preferences so that your last session where you left off will come back when you start up again. But right now we're assuming that nothing in the library is being displayed. And so the first thing to do is to get up something. So I'm going to come over here to the very left of this gray bar and we see this icon. If I hover over it, it says new. I click on that and it gives me a whole list of things that I can pull up. I'm going to go to Modern Bibles and I'm going to pull up the ESV with Strong's. So I click on the new icon, uh, just bring my cursor down and come to Modern Bibles, pull the cursor over, come down to ESV with Strong's, and then I'll click, left click. When I say click, I my default is left click. If I mean right click, I will say right click. So when I, if I just say click, I mean left click. So click on ESV with Strong's, and here it pulls up the ESV with Strong's. It shows you Genesis 6 1, and then 2 3 4, and this is where I left off last time. So that's why it came back to Genesis uh, 6 1. So we have the ESV with Strong's up. Notice that it covers the entire width of your window. And obviously for Hebrew, we're going to want to get up the Hebrew text. And so I'll come back over to the new icon here, near the top on the left-hand side. I'm going to click it again. And I'm going to come down to Hebrew text. And the only option here will be Hebrew Bible, Biblia Hebraica, tagged. And so I'm going to click on that. And it will now open the Hebrew Bible. Notice that it is at Genesis 6.1. The book, chapter, and verse are listed at the right-hand side because Hebrew goes right to left. In the ESV, which I can come back and display by clicking on the tab. So here's the Hebrew Bible up here at the top. We have separate tabs for these now. The initial tab that I put up on the far left is ESV, so I'm just going to click on that and notice that the book, chapter, and verse are on the right, on the left-hand side. And in the Hebrew Bible, they're on the right-hand side. So this is just something to, to get used to. So now we have um, the Hebrew Bible up, and this is what we're going to be spending a lot of time looking at as we go through the Hebrew course. So let's take a look at how to set some preferences. This is going to be very helpful. Before we come back and look at some specifics of Hebrew, let's take a look at how to set preferences. So now, way up on the top, we have a whole list of menu items here. The second one is Edit. I'm going to make the screen a little bit smaller here so that it'll be clear what I'm doing when I select here. So under Edit, I come down and I select Preferences. I'm going to click on Preferences. That's going to pull up a window, and the very top window is going to be General. And under General, you are going to see the very top a startup option. Now you have different options listed here. I am going to choose Last Session. This is very useful because then when you shut down and start up again, it will bring you back to where you were the last time. This means that you're not going to have to bring up all the windows that you had up before. It will bring you back to where you were. So I set my start up to last session, and then that will always then bring me up where I left off. Uh, the other items are part of your preference. I suppress the opening text information. 
I don't need to see all that. But the main thing here is you want to, you want to set this to last session. Okay, the next thing to look at then is under Amplify, the second item. There are several things here. The one that's important for Hebrew is the third item here. And you have a bunch of options under Hebrew. And this is the area for triple click defaults. I recommend uh, the Concise Dictionary of Classical Hebrew as the triple click default for Hebrew. Now you could put um, BDB abridged if you want to, that's fine, but the best resource that I know of inside Accordance and the package that you have is the Concise Dictionary of Classical Hebrew. So I select that. The other items are really not all that important, so I wouldn't pay a lot of attention to them. When you get into Greek, you'll want to do something for Greek, but for this is for Hebrew, we're not too worried about that now. Text display will be your next important set place to set preferences. And I set this theme to custom. And then uh, size 12, you can experiment with that however you want to. I set space between the paragraphs, and that's up to your preference as well. The font color I set to black, and you might see it default into something else, so you may want to make sure this is black. It makes it a lot easier to look at. Search highlighting, the, the, the words that are found through searches will be a different color. I set it to teal, you can make it red or whatever, and the rest of these um, are not all that important. The next one you're going to want to look at under preferences is tool display. And for here under the actual like dictionaries or lexicons you're looking at, I set the color to red for search and then for hypertext, I set it to blue. It's probably default to that. That's the usual hypertext color is blue. And then the red makes it easy to see the word you're looking for in a dictionary. The last thing to note here is, is the text, which right now is set to NA28 Greek New Testament. I suggest setting that right now to ESV with Strong's. This will be helpful later on when we're doing word studies and we're displaying text that we click in the dictionary. We can bring those up in English. The next important category to look at is Greek and Hebrew. And I set the top two of these automatic final letter, automatic diacritical marks. I check these. These may already be checked for you, so you might not have to worry about it. Uh, more importantly, look at Unicode display. And for Greek and Hebrew, I typically set these to Cardo, Cardo font. I like those. Some other good options are the SBL fonts. And so you can use SBL Greek for Greek. You may not need that immediately, but eventually. And then SBL Hebrew for uh, Hebrew. Find that SBL Hebrew for Hebrew. But as I said, I use Cardo. And so um, I tend to like that font, but they're very similar. But you want to pick something that, that you like. You're not going to be worried about these other ones, so I'm not going to worry about those either. So coming down to instant details, we have the color for the highlighting, and I set that to teal. I set the instant details display font to medium, and the delay for the click and hold, I set it to short. That's just convenient, and you can do whatever you want, but it means once I click on a word, the instant details pop up pretty quickly. And then under Greek and Hebrew, you're going to want to check all of the boxes. Eventually, you can uncheck English transliteration, but for right now, you're going to want to even keep that. So go ahead and, and check all of those, and then check full words. And then beyond that, I don't think you're going to need to worry about too much else right now. So let's go ahead and click OK to get out of that, set your preferences. So when we come back, we'll look at more detail about how to use the tools.